Well, we at the station hold people in power accountable, and one topic that we've been following for months is the New York State Broadband Program. The program was designed to bring high-speed internet access to all parts of New York State, especially the most rural parts. As Two on Your Side's Nate Benson has been reporting for months, the program still isn't finished nearly 18 months after it was supposed to, and the COVID-19 pandemic has only highlighted the rural broadband gap in western New York. Pete, for months I've been covering issues surrounding broadband access across western New York. And the one thing the COVID-19 pandemic has uncovered is that the rural broadband gap has a profound impact on everyday life. So I'm actually working out of my truck um, in the uh, Holiday Valley Tubing Park parking lot <laughs> because my Wi-Fi is not strong enough to support my needs for work. We first profiled Katie Ayler's situation back in February. She's been waiting months for high-speed broadband to come through her street in Franklinville. The company contracted to complete the project as part of the New York State broadband program hasn't finished the job yet. Since our first report, the world has changed dramatically due to the pandemic, and people across the state have been sent to work from home. But can you really do that without proper access? If you're going to ask the people of New York State to stay home and work from home, you need to provide us with the tools that we need in order to successfully abide by what you're asking us to do. Right now, Katie only has access to satellite internet, which according to her experience, cannot handle the bandwidth requirements for video conferencing or her other work-related tasks. According to the state, because her area has satellite coverage, she would be lumped in with the other 98% of New Yorkers that claim to have access. The state says that's a 30% increase since 2015 when the broadband program started. Armstrong Communications was awarded the contract to build out high-speed networks through Franklinville and Ellicottville. Today, the company confirmed to me that the project should be finished by summer 2021 after delays in permitting as well as contract negotiations with utility companies for access to poles. The company has also invested $30 million more million than it previously planned in order to keep the project moving forward despite the increased fee agreements with utility companies. We're in a serious situation right now, however, because the government didn't do what they said they were going to do, I'm now in this situation working in the Holiday Valley <laughs> parking lot. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's, it's a difficult situation all the way around, but, um, you know, I'm doing what I can in order to keep my job and keep my paycheck. Coming up first at 5, I talked to a New York State lawmaker who echoes the sentiments of his constituents and is calling for the New York State broadband program to finally be finished. Reporting in Kenmore, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.